<laughs> now, Senator Kurocha, <laughs> now, why have you been having this cat and mouse game with the EFCC? That day, did they give you a prior notice? Have you been invited before that time to attend, uh, you know, to attend your trial <laughs> in the, with the EFCC? Well, thank you. Um, Ayo, I, I wish uh, I don't talk about this. I think I would be more, it would be more interesting for me to talk about the mood of our nation, the incoming convention. But let me just say that uh, I thank God Almighty and to thank the people of Nigeria for prayers and support. Uh, I feel highly honored by this nation, especially the reactions. Um, but most importantly is that um, the, our convention did not take place on the target as earlier scheduled. If that, if that had taken place, maybe I would have missed these primaries. So I think it's an act of God that um, I next shifted the date, and which makes, made it possible for me to be part of this uh, uh, coming convention. Um, but I really don't want to delve into uh, what went right, what went wrong, uh, has been uh, something that has been happening with me for a very long time. If you recall uh, that um, I'm the first Nigerian to, uh, to have won a, 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 a senatorial seat and was not given certificate, uh, the first Nigerian to experience the inconclusive election or uh, what is called in 2011 um, the first Nigeria to be arrested by uh, a successor and uh, um, so many stories have been shared with Russia so I think I don't go into this let me tell yeah, you the, the people will say why don't you testing. simply hand over yourself to them instead of the drama and destruction of, <laughs> of, your, home. of, of your home well um, I, I, I don't I don't, there was no such invitation in the first place to come to uh, EFCC headquarters. There was no issue of, um, of uh, jumping of bell. Uh, I didn't jump bell, of course, and uh, if I'm not an unknown person, and I'm not uh, uh, a criminal, so to say, I'm a sitting senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I was a former governor. I have an address at the National Assembly. And procedurally, whenever IFCC wants to invite you for anything, they will go to the National Assembly, inform the Senate President, who looked for you, and get you there. But all that is stories. Uh, now, I wouldn't want us to really dive into this. Let it be that uh, EFCC is doing their job, and uh, they've carried out their resp responsibilities. But while I was there for seven days, there was never a day I was interrogated. I was just in the cell and that I came out and got the bell. So um, uh, if we take dwell in this, it will take us another one hour and I'm sure I'm having only 20 minutes discussion with you. Mm -hmm. So I will appreciate it if you can move forward. But it is important, however, to say that the man under investigation is a man who left 48 billion naira in the coffers of Imo State uh, before, I became, before I left as governor, and uh, I'm being charged for 2.9 billion, so you can imagine. And the man that introduced free education for eight years from primary to secondary to university, and was able to maintain peace in that state, security-wise, for eight years, and build over 1,000 uh, uh, projects and, uh, that are visible. So, and if you want me to summarize to you, I had about 555 billion naira total income uh, throughout my eight years in office. And out of that, I spent about 70%. So I spent more than uh, 300 and uh, about 300 um, or 420 mil mil billion on salaries. And I had just less than 150 or 140 billion. And that's the that's International Cargo Airport. That's the 546 schools to seven hospitals leaving 48 billion behind, and I owe no bank till I left. So, is uh, but you know, EFCC, once there is uh, uh, a petition, there must be an investigation. And um, 
if the man that succeeds you wants to make life unbearable, he keep throwing papers anywhere, and people must, HFCC must investigate. So why you try to analyze what ESC has done, also look at the causative of whatever is there. But are you... Can we leave this behind and let us oh, move on to what is before us as a, as a nation and as Fair a country? Fair enough, Senator. Let's talk policies.